Minorities have become the majority, at least when you look at one-year-olds in the U.S. Fox News and CBS have details from a new report from the Census Bureau. And a brand new report detailing a changing demographic in America. For the first time in U.S. history, Caucasians account for less than half of babies born in the United States. From July of 2010 to July of 2011, non-Hispanic white babies accounted for just under 50 percent of all newborns. Minorities came in at 50.4 percent. A writer for the New York Times says this moment was coming, but no one knew exactly when it would arrive. Now that it has, though, it signals a milestone for a nation whose government was founded by white Europeans and has wrestled mightily with issues of race from the days of slavery through civil war, bitter civil rights battles, and most recently, highly charged debates over efforts to restrict immigration. An analyst for CNN says a big contributor to these numbers is the influx of immigrants from Mexico over the last 30 years. They also point to higher birth rates among minority families than white families. But the analyst adds, these numbers aren't necessarily a forecast of our future. Does this really tell us what's going to happen in the future, 10 years, 15, 20 years down the line? Is this a steady march of minority groups becoming bigger and bigger and the white groups becoming smaller? We just don't know. It might be and it may not be. But a sociologist tells the Washington Post, this is the first sign of a big change. The population is literally changing before us with the youngest replacing the oldest. This is the first tipping point. These kids are the vanguard of the change that's coming. The Atlantic Wire reports non-Hispanic whites still make up more than 60% of the U.S. population. For Newsy, I'm Emily Allen. Multiple sources, the real story.